Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at this uh, extension box from Bull and the extra feature on this particular extension box is that it comes with uh, two USB ports. Now if you look at the box you can see that uh, the USB ports are rated at 5V 2.4A. Now I'm not sure whether a single port is capable of giving 2.4A or the combined output of both the port is 2.4A. But in this video we will do all the tests that will tell us whether these are actually fast charging ports or not. Now the one that I've got comes with a 4 socket and a 2 meter long cable. Uh, the body of this uh, extension box is built with uh, polycarbonate which is basically a kind of plastic which is less likely, likely to catch fire. Now one thing that I want to mention that this is only an extension box uh, that is it will not work as a surge protector because it doesn't come with any kind of fuse or a circuit breaker and it also doesn't come with any kind of MOV which is metal oxide varistor which prevents any high voltage that may be coming uh, from the grid. So this will only work as an extension box. So if you need something for protecting your appliances maybe this is not you want to look at. This is just for uh, use as an extension box. However the build quality is superb and without any further delay let's quickly take a look at uh, what we uh, get in the box. Now before we open the box uh, I want to show you this this is the uh, rating so it can support a total of 2500 watt and a maximum of 10 amp now these usually these types of sockets are capable of uh, outputting 6 amp but I'm very skeptic whether they are able to handle 6 amp or not so we will do some calculation and I will show you uh, how much uh, they can actually support according to the uh, company's total of 2500 watt so at the back this is the box there is some information about the uh, extension box so without any further delay let's just open it so this is the extension box and there is nothing in the box left So this is the box, the plastic feels very very good quality and this is the switch. The only problem I have with these types of switches is that uh, I'm not sure how long they are going to last because these are toggle switch. So when you press them, they go in and they now the extension is working, when you press them again, the switch comes out and now it is not, uh, the, other switch, uh, the, the extension is not working. Uh, not very not a very big problem but these types of switch uh, have a tendency to fail uh, uh, prematurely now i'm not sure whether the usb ports are directly connected to the power or the switch are also connected to the switch as well so without any further delay let's just open the wire and see how it works Okay, so I've opened up the extension box and you can see this is the uh, wire. The wire is fairly thick. I have no problem with the quality of wire, but you really don't know what is inside the outer casing. So it comes with a three pin plug. The plug feels good quality. This is your earth and your two prongs European style standard plug. Uh, they say that the wire is two meter long and if you, if I hold the wire from middle, I can say that it is not exactly, uh, it is about 2 meter long, just a little small because they are also including the length of the plug as well. So let me just plug it in and show you how it looks and you turn it on. Okay, so I've got the extension box connected. So if I turn it on, you can see the LED is glowing. That means the extension box is working now. You can see the four socket comes with a locking mechanism so when you put something in uh, it kind of holds the uh, your plug in position so it doesn't wiggle around so that you don't get there is it minimizes the minimizes the chances of sparks so without any further delay let's just quickly jump into the main feature of this unit which is why most people are going to buy this unit because of these you two usb ports so if i plug uh, the USB port in a USB meter. This is a USB meter. So if I plug it in, you can see the USB port is definitely working and we are getting 5 volts. So let me plug a load in 
and see how much current we are able to get. So at 5 volt if I increase I'm getting 1.5 amp, 1.7 amp, 2.4 so we're getting 2.4 amp and as we go above 2.4 amp uh, the unit stops working So there we go about 2.3 or 2.4 amp the unit works and if you go above 2.4 amp the unit stops working. So that's uh, from a single port and uh, let's see whether the second port or the other port is also able to give us the same reading. So if I plug the unit in this port I'm drawing 2.1 amp, 2.2 amp, 2.3 and again we can draw about 2.3 amp so the both the ports are definitely working and can give us about 2.3 amps without any problem at 5 volt now the question is whether these are standard USB ports or they are fast charging ports so for them to be a fast charging ports the voltage should switch from 5 volt to a higher voltage let's say 9 volt or 10 volt or 12 volts so let's just let me just plug a phone I've got the Moto G5 plus and the Moto G5 plus uh, came with a turbocharger uh, which is this one and if you look closely maybe you cannot see yeah so you can see that the turbo one output is 9 volt and 1.6 amp so if these are fast charger this is a fast charger this should change to at least 9 volt or uh, at least 8 point something volt and should be able to give me about 1.6 amp without any problem if these ports are your uh, fast charging ports so let me just plug in my Moto G5 plus and see whether these are fast charging now if you look at the uh, uh, the specification of this uh, extension box you can see that it says that it comes with a 5 volt 2.4 amp fast charging ports now doesn't mean just because it is giving it is capable of delivering more than 2.4 amp or more than 2.3 amp doesn't mean that it is a fast charging port so let's just test this so i've got a motorola original charger and this is a fast charger it is a turbo charger so if i plug this in it sits very well in the uh, sockets the sockets are very well built i'm very happy with the socket so if i plug the usb cable in the charger and then I plug my Moto G5 Plus in you can see that it says charging and now it says turbo power connected so the charger is definitely a fast charger and it is charging my phone at a fast charging speed which is uh, more than the standard charging so if the company's claims are right that these charging ports are your fast charging ports and if I plug my USB cable into these ports, the phone should also say fast charging or turbo power connected. So I plugged it in, it says charging. So far so good. Let's see if it changes to turbo charging or not. Mm, nope. So there we go. We can definitely say that these are not fast charging ports. Although they are more, they can, they are able to give you more than uh, 2.4 amperes but these are not fast charging ports. The definition of fast charging is that uh, the voltage should increase or the current should increase but in this case we cannot see any uh, of those things changing. The company is basically using the fast charging name just to increase the sale of this extension box. However, the extension box is really good. I'm very happy with the extension box. However, the price it comes at about 800 rupees and on a sale you can get about 3 or 4 rupees less. So there we go this was my review of the uh, Bull 4 socket 2.4 meter cable extension box that comes with a uh, 2 port uh, USB cable. Uh, my conclusion on this charger is definitely if you want to buy this extension box you can spend your money on this the build quality is awesome and it's not too bad considering if you look at the competition this is one of the best uh, extension box you can buy in the market that comes with 
uh, two USB ports. Although the company's claim of these ports to be uh, fast charging ports is not true, but still uh, it's worth uh, spending your money on. However, if you look at overall, if you're really looking for value for money, then this is not a value for money extension board. Considering that it comes with only a two meter long power cable, only four ports and not all the ports have a single dedicated switch now the reason i bought this extension box is this because as you can see here is my modem and which is connected to a 12 volt adapter inside that modem if i lift the modem you can see that there is a usb fan which keeps my modem cool and the usb fan is connected to this uh, usb hub the usb hub is powered by another adapter which is going here so as you can see I'm running two adapter and to run all two adapter I may have to use I was having to use this three pin plug and these are just aluminium socket which I'm using to keep the uh, adapters cool so that uh, I can extend the life of these adapters so what the extension box will do for me is I will be able to replace this three pin plug and all these adapters will plug into that and instead of using this USB hub which is very under capable of running these uh, USB pad, uh, USB fan, I will be running the USB fan, this USB fan which is uh, which is keeping the modem cool, I will be running this USB fan using the uh, USB ports on the bull extension board. So let me just plug everything in uh, on the extension board. So there we go, this was my video on the bull extension box, four socket, one single switch, two meter long cable with two USB ports. So I think for 800 rupees this is worth spending your money on. Do I think that this should cost about 800 rupees? Absolutely not. But if you look at the competition I think this is the best that you can get in the market today. The build quality is awesome and the two USB ports that comes with it can definitely turn out to be really handy in different situations. So there we go. I hope you found this video helpful. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.